running appraisal meetings. Appraisal meetings can represent a significant challenge for both the appraising manager and the appraisee. Consequently, neither get the best out of the meeting, and this is a great shame, given that it is a marvellous opportunity to give really good constructive feedback to the appraisee and motivate them towards their future performance and also their job satisfaction needs. Here's a seven-step process to make the best possible job of an appraisal meeting. A step number one is hold the meeting in a relaxed environment. Better perhaps to meet in a conference room or a meeting room and not the appraiser's office. For the manager, it's important that he or she puts the appraiser at ease, have some tea or coffee to hand, and make sure that both are in the right frame of mind for an open and honest discussion. Step number two, as the appraising manager, ask the individual how they've regarded their performance over the last year. How well have they achieved their key tasks and their personal objectives? What have been their successes? And then perhaps probe into areas where they've been less than successful and give feedback on those areas where you have a perception that perhaps there could be an improvement going forward. And then go back to more success stories. This is called a sandwiching technique where you give good news, you tackle perhaps areas which are perhaps not as good, and then you come back to more good news at the end. This is much more motivating uh, for the appraisee. The next step, step three, is discuss the individual's aspirations for the future, not only in their current job, but perhaps in other jobs that they're looking to achieve going forward within the organisation. Try and draw out of them their career aspirations. Uh, step number four is discuss and agree the current level of their job satisfaction. What motivates them in their job? What perhaps demotivates them? What is there about the environment that they're in? What is it about the way they're being managed, the management style from the appraising manager? Uh, what is it about the use of their natural talents and gifts that could be improved upon? All these areas perhaps need to be discussed and agreed so that we can identify what it is the person's looking for in their job when it comes to job satisfaction and what's the current level. Thereby we can identify a gap uh, that we can both work on. The next step is five, discuss and agree the performance objectives and the key tasks for the coming year, as well as those activities for personal development growth and planning to achieve that growth, so that we're looking at both objectives surrounding the job itself and successful performance in the job, but also objectives surrounding the individual and their own personal growth and development. Step six, discuss and agree plans to achieve these objectives going forward and also the personal development plans to achieve greater job satisfaction for the individual and to move them towards their career aspirations. Step seven, agree the next steps. That might be writing up the appraisal documentation, having the appraisee review it before signing it off, and then think about review dates over the course of the next year going forward, perhaps on a quarterly basis, when we can track progress together as the appraiser and the appraisee. Following these seven steps, both parties will come away feeling really motivated and also feeling that they're working in partnership towards an agreed future for each other's benefit.